Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. And today, we're finally back at it. The Witch Reviews are back, episode five today. Hit that subscribe button if you're yet to do so. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the video. And of course, spoilers ahead. Three episodes left after this, and then the wait for Blood Origins and season three begins. Enjoy. So this episode saw Geralt and Istrid team up. We obviously got to see Ciri battling her destiny between becoming a witcher and, you know, learning mage magic. Yennefer's rescue with the um, bard was one of the main focuses with Fringilla and Kahir reuniting. What I want to say was, you know, this episode was terrific. We got to see that stone dragon, you know, come out when um, Geralt and uh, the mage... Um, we're in that like, massive crack in the floor. We got to see them to somewhat team up for a little bit, you know, a small portion when those two guards came up to the... We got to see, you know, the young elf with the massive afro. He obviously got to... Um, um, I can't remember the place. The massive kingdom, basically, where everyone's going. I just thought this episode was terrific. You know, we ended up being betrayed at the end of the episode. And then... There's all this build-up in the episode. Is she really going to take that serum to become a witcher and the possibility of her dying whilst Geralt is off doing whatever? I thought him coming back, you know, and stopping it was the right thing to do and they're finally going to leave this castle, you know, because it's been kind of boring in that aspect, you know, because uh, I don't know the girl's name, who's the mage. She's been trying to get in her mind as well and trying to teach her other ways that aren't fighting, uh, because she's going to have her ways, Geralt's going to have his ways, and Geralt's mentor's going to have his ways. What I love about the characters that are involved in the series is so many directions you're going. But the huge reveal in this episode, a couple of episodes ago, we got the, the fact that this witch was talking to a couple of the characters about their destinies in the future. Uh, so obviously Yennefer disappearing and going to visit her again to talk about how she can get her powers back. And I loved the fact that there was only one way of basically getting her powers back, and it was through Cerulea, who this woman was. She is an older version. I loved how they've connected all their characters together, and the only way for basically Yennefer to get her powers back is to reunite with Geralt and see see Count Cerulea. To have those three on the same uh, screen at the same time was going to be phenomenal. You know, I think the Bard has been captured again. He's a bit of a dopey person you know looking through the window and obviously Yennefer disappeared so I'm intrigued to what happens with him he's been one of the best parts about The Witcher in general he's been enjoyable to watch his music's fantastic the guy who plays him sings so incredible I love how he does it um uh the the scrubbed up um bearded guy who obviously arrived at the the, the, the kingdom he obviously is going to play, play a big role in the war against uh Cerulea and Geralt and all them characters and obviously Yennefer reunites I believe all the core characters will unite against you know one they'll team up with the mages again I think it's going to be similar to the battle Yennefer took place in at the end of season one but obviously better bigger you know elves will have to choose their side uh, and they'll work together more I mean I'm intrigued to see how this sort of ends the series of the final three episodes leaning into the fact there's going to be another eight episodes in season three. So there's a lot to take in and how much story will there be in The Witcher. Um, I enjoyed Cyril's relationship with the woman who played the mage. I think there was some decent chemistry with Eb, uh, but nothing more, nothing less. I don't think we'll see much of her once they depart. Maybe at the war, maybe, I think, you know, we are leading up to a huge war. Um, but it's just... It was just incredible. It's just really incredible just to watch these characters. Like when she was fighting the Scarecrow and you can see the anger, the story with the flowers that are growing, that she has elven in her blood. She's learning more about herself. She's learning to um, take on her future. And just it's just been a really cool ride. And I, I, I watched this episode and, you know, I, I think to myself, season two is so much better than season one. It's just light years ahead of season one. And the 
reason I say that is simply this. Season one was messy. He didn't explain what period we were in, where we were. And when which when Garot got to one place and Yennefer was at one point, you didn't know where you were at. So season two has been clear because it's all been in the present. So another excellent episode. We know, obviously, the guy who visited the bard who was torturing him is looking for Geralt. Geralt, Geralt, I don't know his name. So Yennefer, Siri, the bard, and... Geralt, Cerulea, Yennefer, and the Bard will probably come together, unite in some form by the like episode seven, I'm going to guess, to set up episode eight to be a huge episode and cliffhanger. So let me know what you think down below. Another fantastic episode. The episodes for this may come out a bit sooner than expected. So episode six, seven, eight may come out before next Tuesday or Wednesday. But let I will let you know, obviously, when you'll see it on the channel. Stay up to date with all the other series that's coming to the channel. We have a variety of things coming to the show, uh, to the channel, Jessica Jones, obviously, to debut soon as I finish Daredevil, Clone Wars, and many others. Stay tuned for the content by hitting that subscribe button. Leave a like, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.